As a public health professional, we have responsibility to prevent, address, and control disease. Good afternoon. I'm Mimi Hall, Director of the Health Services Agency, and I'm pleased to come before you today with um, a report back um, from two items that um, were left still remaining from our June 11th, 2019 um, biannual syringe services report to the board. We have Rachel McCullough Sandin, and she is an epidemiologist with our communicable disease unit under communicable disease manager, Dr. Kelly Devane. And she's here to answer technical questions about data collection, methodology, analysis, and findings. I would also like to acknowledge my fellow epidemiologists <laughs> today who did extreme efforts of analysis, writing, and <laughs> with many other supporters. First and foremost, we're all here today because syringe litter is not acceptable. We are here in part to understand the magnitude of the problem and effective steps to potentially address it. With our cross-sectional approach to this evaluation, we had the opportunity to canvas areas of most concern in our county and compare counts to kiosks in the same area at the same time. The slide says 10, and after recent re recalculation, the correct number is actually even lower at seven syringes out of 1,000 are improperly disposed. An overwhelmingly positive statistic. <laughs> so given the practices you find, why, did the, why was the city of Santa Cruz, just the Parks Department, not citizens, not public works, found more than 5,000 needles? Where are those needles <laughs> coming from? Where, where, like, what's the, because if, if everyone's disposing of them, what's going on? Or when we had the Ross Camp, we had disposal boxes right there. We had needles being distributed on a daily basis, and yet that hundreds, if not thousands of needles were found there. So there didn't seem to be a barrier there. So what's, what's going on, as a, in your professional opinion, from an epide epidemiologist's point of view? Mm -hmm. I love your engagement and questions, and my mind is exploding because you just have <laughs> to ask. Like, oh, you can look at it like this or like this. What time period? Who's collecting? What methods? What database? Let's get together. Let's figure out how, when, who, where, and why. And so I, I'm excited to explore all of that. I don't have that data on hand. I don't know if any of my colleagues wanted to better answer that. And I, and I, I, and I get it. It's complicated. But, I, but when we asked for a needle study, our, we, we weren't asking for an access study. We're asking for a needle litter study mm -hmm. to really mm -hmm. understand where the, needle came, where the needles came from and what we're going to do about it. And so it seems as though we have... We have hard reporting yeah. of at least 4,000. If you assume all the community fines and the, and the needle Santa Cruz fines, we're at 10, 12,000 in a city of 60,000 people. And the only thing I would ask is that to check the cynicism that people have. Um... Like this, or 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 like this,